Hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to see what is what's web and dub so if you want to hack any website first you need to analyze that website that what are the vulnerabilities that can be useful for you for that we should know what technologies that website is using what server it is using and various other things for that thing only we have two simple tools called what's web and dub so let us see what is what's web here i will turn on my terminal and we have this pre-installed tool called what's web after that i need to give my victims url so in my case I have my OS running. If you want to see how to set up the OS, you can check my previous video or click on the i icon. Here I will type the IP address 192.168.126.134. This is my OS machine. I will copy this IP address and paste it over here. And with that, I will give minus V or you can see if we type what's web help here you can see we have various commands such as logs logging and output so here i will use verbose for the verbose output includes plugin descriptions like it will tell what technologies it have like if it's have PHP, JavaScript, scripting languages and all. You can try some other parameters as well. So for now, let us just type what's web minus v and the IP address of the web page. Now if I press the enter key here we can see we have lots of information such as it is using apache server here we can see it has html5 jquery open ssl php perl python and in scripting it is using javascript so now we know that it has javascript as well so we can try for like cross-site scripting or stored or reflected cross-site scripting if you want to know what is reflected or stored cross-site scripting you can check my previous video or you can click on the i button in the top right corner so that's how we can analyze we basically need to know some information about the web page so that according to that we can have our strategy to hack that website now let us see about the second tool which is dub for that we need to provide one word list uh, let us see dub and now I will give the IP address and here I will give the word list so I have my word list in user share word list and then dub here I have around 10 to 12 word list so let us see what we can use I think this must be having some more words so let's just type common.txt if you want to check this word list you can check like cat user share word list then dub then common.txt so it has lots of words so we can try this word list now before pressing enter let's see what it will do 
so in our web page we have this url what if there may be some possibility that we have if we click on this os web goat or here we can see we have ip address and then web code slash tag if we go to some other page like buggy web yeah here we can see we have ip address then b web then slash login dot php so if you use the dub tool what it will going to do is it will check for all the words in our word list and one by one it will append after this like slash and whatever the first word in that word list then second one then third and so on like as much words we have in our word list so now let's enter this command here you can see it started attacking that web page and here we can see code 200 this means that the status of that url is 200 that means it was successful so this url exists here we can find several other urls such as these images if we open this we can see that website with slash images have all this content here we can see these images so we can access the content of that web page although we don't see that in the first interaction like when we log in or visit that website for the first time here we just see the website url here it will be the domain name in our case it's ip address like the domain name can be google.com or facebook.com or any other domain now let us check for now let's stop it here only so we have several urls such as this one wordpress wp login we can check this that it has this web wordpress application and there are several urls such as this fav icon it is usually the logo of that application so we have lots of urls which we can access so that's how we can access the content of that website without even seeing that if you like this video please do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more such content and if you have any query you can just mention it in the comment section